Um, my name is Sherry Bronfman, and I'm so pleased to be here this evening. I wrote a speech, but I tore it up because they said only two minutes. I'm here to introduce my daughter, Hannah Bronfman, and I would like to say that raising her in New York City as a African-American woman from the south side of Chicago who was brought up in a Baptist church who became a Buddhist and allowed her children to embrace the Jewish faith, this has been quite a journey. <laughs> so as, as we are here, <laughs> thank you. As we are here to celebrate uh, the work that Pat has put forth and into motion and revolving around the uh, growth of young people, I would like to say that I'm very pleased that I was ha able to and had a child or children. I have three children. Hannah is the youngest of three. I had children that were open to my suggestions. My suggestions which allowed me to immerse them in all sports. They uh, play soccer, they swim, they rollerblade, they ski, they snowboard, and uh, they play basketball, and uh, well, it, the, they swim, it goes on and on. So, and then there were the arts. I would barter with them on weekends, uh, either one big gallery uptown or three small galleries downtown. You must have this kind of culture. And it worked. All of my children are in the arts. Hannah, you may not know, went to Bard. She majored in sculpting, and she is very talented in that arena. They're also uh, very academic, and their work ethic continues to surprise me because, as any, most of you know who have children, it's very hard to get them sometimes to do their homework and to focus on things that are of value, so we think. Uh, living in this world that we live in now, uh, the technology is an equalizer, and it's very important for uh, parents, if you have young children, to snoop and to uh, become very uh, uh, aware and apprised of uh, what the languaging skills are of your children, the things that have changed, and to encourage them to uh, share whatever they're doing with you and that's hard. You have to watch, as a parent, uh, all of the uh, programs that are on TV, you know, Law and Order, to make sure that you know how to approach your children and sound like you're legal. <laughs> so it's um, with great pride that I'd like to bring up Hannah at this point. I, did I go over my two minute mark? Okay. I, have, I, I happen to know more about rap music than I probably should. My son is here, Benjamin Bronfman, who was up for a Grammy Award with Kanye West for New Slaves. So my daughter Vanessa, her sister's at a yoga retreat, <laughs> becoming a yoga teacher. So Hannah, whom we are very, very proud of, because she was the first generation with a cell phone. And somehow, instinctively, she learned how and figured out how to use the uh, technology in a way to her benefit. She has just been married to a beautiful young man, Brendan, my new son-in-law, who happens to be here. <laughs> yes, we're, we're just back from their wedding in Morocco. And um, everything was magical and, and beautiful beyond belief. So Hannah, who's worked very, very hard, I don't know if you follow her online, you should go to HB Fit. And um, she has Hannahgrams that are running um, regularly. And you can find her on YouTube where she's interviewing people that are working in different professions. Did I cover everything? <laughs> okay, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you my daughter, whom I'm very proud of, and I think that she is very worthy and deserving of this award as she has worked tirelessly uh, to uh, upgrade herself. They're rebranding me, so if my language skills and with all of this are not that great, please excuse me. But she's worked, they work very, very hard, and she works very hard uh, with, with many initiatives that I'm not at liberty to talk about, but revolving around food. 
Um, and all of the things that she's doing now, she was interested in as a child. I see you laughing, Brendan and Ben. <laughs> but I just love her so much. She was a beautiful baby. She was inspiring. She dances, and she's so interested in so many things. Hannah. You're so sweet. Thank, Thank you, Mom. And you're Thank very you. articulate. Don't I worry. love you. So here she is, my baby, <laughs> Hannah Brockman. <laughs> Let's give it up for Sherry. <laughs> I'm very honored to be here tonight. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. <clears throat> I'm so honored to be here today among such amazing talent and for such a worthy cause, especially to me as I consider myself someone who relies heavily on technology to get my message out there to my audience. Social, social media has been such a large part of my success in building my own personal brand as well as my business brand and lifestyle site, HB Fit. It's always been important to me to make my point to connect with those around me when I was at school, at work, every day, and now technology has offered me this amazing platform to connect with a group larger than I could have ever imagined. Fit Fitness, wellness, and self-care have always been passions of mine, and when I started sharing my routine and my favorite ways to keep active, people really responded. It's rare in this day and age to find an authentic and, or, an authentic and organic personality on the internet, so I really strive to present myself in, the tr in my truest form. This candid, honest approach to what I share has allowed me to create a conversation individually, say through a direct message on Instagram, and on a larger scale with my followers as a whole. The sky's the, the, sky's the limit these days in terms of who you can reach, and it's crazy the connections I've made through a tweet or a snap. Connect, connections made online translate to IRL. I often run into women on the street or in a workout class who mention that they've seen something on my social channel and how it's impacted them. Some of my strongest relationships have been formed by sliding into your DMs. It's such a rewarding and fascinating result of sharing your message so publicly. Social media sometimes gets a bad rep due to the people whose mission it is to spread their negativity hateful messages, ruining it for a lot of people. This formulates in so many ways, including cyberbullying. It's easy to leave mean comments as everyone believes they are their own critic. But you know what's hard? Taking the high road and being the bigger person. Don't fall into the negative traps set by internet trolls. It's up to you, it's up to you, the youth, to tap into the positive potential tech and social media offers. The internet has fostered an incredible community for me, a community that has instilled a confidence and attitude that I hope you see today. My message to the youth is this. For every hater out there, there are 10 people in your corner who wanna see you shine. Use your voice, express yourself, and build up others. With all of these resources at our fingertips, it comes, it comes with tremendous opportunity, but also a responsibility as a part of the generation that can shape our future in a profound way. Focus on creating your own narrative and building a community you can have fun with. And don't let anyone else's bad day put a cloud over yours. Thank you to Urban Tech for giving me this humbling experience and for investing your time and resources into the youth. Thank you. I guess, I guess this wouldn't be complete without a selfie, so. Thank you.